visiting for the first time ever. Hi, my name is Alex and this is my wife Liz. After an amazing summer in North America full of lots of outdoor adventure, we have now begun a multi-month trip in Latin America in order to explore new countries while we work on the road and try to improve our Spanish. We kicked off our trip to a country we've never been to before, Guatemala. So we are in the city of Antigua and we got in like wicked early this morning, um, our flight, so we slept a little bit at our family run guest house we're staying at and now we're going to go actually explore Guatemala for the first time and take you guys with us. Guatemalan restaurant and I love it. There's making free breakfast. We decided vegetarian and they made up this entire plate of beautiful food. So first try some sort of pocket. It's like a potato empanada. Let's yeah, like a potato empanada. I'm gonna get some beans on this. Some rice. Oh, will I? Mm. Muy buena. All right, guys. So the damage from that meal was three fifty per person. Yeah, about. Sweet. our crazy long travel journey. We're definitely struggling a little bit. We are finally exploring some Antigua here. So we're kicking it off with exploring Park Central. So Central Park here, there's so much happening right now. People are like feeding the pigeons. There's so many people selling different hats and different trinkets. We haven't gone to really like this type of thing since before the pandemic. So it's very exciting. the Santa Catalina Arch, which was built in the 1600s, which is crazy. The clock up there was built in the 1800s. Yeah, this is like on all the top things to do in Antigua, so it's a very famous landmark here. It's beautiful. Apparently on a clear day you can see the volcano right through the arch. Very, very cloud covered right now. So we've now entered an old church called Iglesia de la Merced and we're gonna go check it out. You can kind of see some of the mountains surrounding you, us and it just reminds me of like, sometimes whenever we get to a new place, I have to like remind myself, okay, we were in Guatemala, you know, or whatever location we're in. And I feel like I'm doing that now. Like we are in, Guatemala. It takes time for your like body and mind to adjust to the idea of like, oh yeah, you are somewhere completely different than you're used to. It's awesome. And this is the start of many months in Latin American countries, guys. They won't land on me. I keep trying to have them land on me. 
Now, honestly, guys, we're both seriously struggling with the sleep deprivation from our flight this morning. So I think we're gonna head towards our guest house and then like maybe stop by this church along the way. as well like two seconds after that last post we decided we were hungry and so we are eating at this adorable restaurant just adorably decorated all this little decoration super cute all right so this is sort of a meal in between lunch and dinner i guess it's dinner i don't know what this is but i know it has cheese and mushrooms in it um, they, it usually has chicken, but they were able to do some substitutions because of our diets. And then over here we have a plate of vegetables, guacamole and beans. And to go along with that, we have a side of, wow, beautiful looking tortillas of all different colors. And they're very hot, so they seem very fresh. This looks really amazing. Mm -hmm. It's hot. I don't know how to describe this. It's um, sort of like a soup, maybe? I don't know how to describe it, but it's really good. I just tried this dish, and I think I know what it's most similar to. It's very unique, but I think it almost tastes like an enchilada sauce, but in soup form with vegetables and cheese and... That's, I think, the best way to describe it. All right, guys, now that we're feeling a little bit more energetic after eating some food, so we're gonna go explore that church we mentioned. Um, honestly, the streets here are so beautiful. Just like cobblestone and brightly colored houses. Super cute. seem to turn we are gonna head back to our family guest house we're staying at but yeah that was a beautiful building we weren't able to show much to you guys and there was a couple riding on a motorcycle with a dog watch out for that hole all right guys i'm not sure we're gonna move from this bed <laughs> uh, jet lag well not jet lag Sleep deprivation from flying all night on a red eye. Good morning from the rooftop of the family run guest house we're staying at. And they just made us a lovely breakfast, which I'm super excited to dig into. Um, honestly, this is gorgeous. You get a view of the cathedral over here, just all the hills and mountains around. Beautiful. So today we didn't really have plans because we kind of did everything we wanted to see, I guess, in Antigua yesterday for the most part. Uh, I guess there's a couple things, but we, I think, are going to go try to see if we can rent a motorbike and explore just the surrounding area around here. Guys, so we went to two different motorcycle shops. One was completely out. The other one was fifty dollars a day for a rental. So, which really isn't that bad, but it's a lot more expensive than we wanted to spend. Yeah, the other place was twenty-five, and so, anyways, we're being cheap, and we're not going to do it. We have a few other things we wanted to do in Tigua, so I think we're going to kind of take it easy a little bit, and then tomorrow will be a big day, though, which you guys will see in the next video. Let's see us. Let's see us. 
So we went to this place called Taku, and it's a lot fancier than what we were intending on doing, but literally as soon as we entered the place, it started downpouring, so there wasn't even an, op an option for us to like, leave. But we got some beautiful looking food. We had burrito, and nachos, so... Wow. Again? That is so good. That is like steam. Hey guys, so um, we are really glad we didn't rent those motorbikes and that we were too cheap because it's been raining for hours. So we just spent a couple hours at a cafe getting a little bit of work done. We ended up spending most of the day getting prepared for a two-day hike to a very unique destination, which you'll see in our next video, including renting gear, which proved to be quite challenging as almost everyone does this trek via tours. After our gear shopping, we managed to fit in one last activity. All right, guys, we picked up our rental equipment for the mountain, dropped off at our place, and now we're trying to beat sunset to hike up the hill of the cross which it's been a really rainy day, so it might be quite muddy. Guys, we are about to climb, what's it in Spanish? Cerro de la Cruz. All right, guys, we're about to climb that. Um, there's a bunch of stairs. We've resorted to running up because they close at six and they're very sad on that. Just talk to some guards. We got here just in time to be able to put up the drone. I mean, we didn't even get to the right viewpoint because this whole area is closed off. They must be doing some kind of construction or something here. But you can see the cross yeah. being rebuilt. We ended our second day in Antigua shopping for our food for our overnight hike the next day. We're in a supermarket here in Ramallah. I love going to supermarkets in your country. It's, and you can see they have such different stuff. But look at this. This is so cute. They're Cocoa Krispies. That's actually not a bad idea. Jam in a bag. <laughs> For some reason, in any countries we go to abroad, we see the Kirkland brand, even though there's no Costco. No idea how this is here. All right, so we got these packets of refried fried beans here, which is really awesome. We'll have these on some fresh tortillas. It'll be a great dinner. It'll be cold, but... <laughs> cold beans, but it'll be good. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We will see you on our next video, which ended up being way more adventurous than we originally thought. It might have been the worst storm I've ever been in my entire life. Chunks of magma literally flying. Whoa. Wow, that's crazy. That's so cool.